crazy. Budget. Shock. No cassette. Eight cassette. What is your stance on the safe driving bill? Uh, we're a nation of immigrants. Um, we always have been. That's a key to our success as a society. Uh, but I don't support the safe driving bill um, for one reason, which is I've, no one's ever been able to explain to me how you can create a, a, a system that is able to document people who are undocumented. And I worry a lot about the consequences of providing um, access to a driver's license using a system that can't necessarily um, prevent people from treating it fraudulently. I support driver's licenses for undocumented residents and I also support in-state tuition for, for un children and undocumented residents' families. These are human beings, they're with us. I once heard the phrase, there's no such thing as an illegal human being. And even though we have to work very hard to get good immigration laws passed at the federal level where the Congress is just, they've just been kicking that can down the road and ignoring their responsibilities to create paths to citizenship and good immigration policy, but in the meantime, these people are here, they're with us, they're the kind of people that help make our country great, and we need, to, we need to make sure that they're secure. I have said in the past that I do not, uh, as a district attorney, and hoping that we would have a federal solution to many of the issues that affect our new residents here, immigrants who are here, undocumented particularly. Because Washington has not done anything, uh, frankly, it's very disappointing. I have said uh, in talking to people around the state that I will have an open mind as to what we can and should do to make sure that our roads are safe, that people have the, the way to get to work or to get to medical care. Uh, and so I'd like to look at ways that other states have addressed this issue and see what Massachusetts can do moving forward. But the reality is that there are many people in Massachusetts who are here who do not have proper documentation, and they're here. And there are people who believe that the best way to uh, deal with that issue is to say, well, then they shouldn't have driver's licenses. And I look at that and I say, so what we're doing is we're creating two classes of drivers. One which is trained, licensed, and has insurance, and one group of drivers which is not. This doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but again, in, in a state like Massachusetts, we haven't been able to actually come to a solution on this. So I support driver's licenses because I think it's important for public safety and it should be talked about exactly in those terms. I do support the safe driving bill. This is a bill that was authored by two state representatives, Tricia Farley Bouvier from Pittsfield and Senator Pat Jalen from Somerville. And it was very simple. It said, let's give all immigrants a driver's license. This is a public safety issue. Why would we want anybody driving on the streets of Massachusetts or on our roads without driver's education, a driver's test, a license, and insurance? So I favor driver's licenses for all immigrants. And if they're undocumented, they still deserve to have a driver's license because we understand something. These men and these women need to use a car. They need to go to work. They need to go to the supermarket. They need to take their children to a doctor's appointment or to a play group and they will be using cars. So this to me is a public safety issue. I take a different position, by the way, than other candidates that I'm running against, but this is a fundamental issue of fairness. Level the playing field, leave no one behind.